Hi, my name is Pads. I'm a travel vlogger. And every year, we go on a year-end road trip. Last year, we explored the southern part of the Panay Island. This year, we are going on a six days road trip exploring the southern part of Negros Oriental and Cebu. Going places like Apu Island, Sikihor, Oslob, and Mualbual. So if you like traveling, diving, and exploring, subscribe and follow our social media accounts so you don't miss every single travel video. So to start our journey, we will be starting from Iloilo, going to Bacolod. <laughs> hey guys, so yan. It's around 5.47 na. Papasok na kami sa Roro. Let's go! In Bacolod, we are staying at the Bed and Breakfast Hotel. The hotel is 1,399 with free breakfast. Ito yung room namin for tonight. Then early in the morning later, around 4 a.m., you know, wake up and then coffee, breakfast, and then head out na. Going to Dumaguete, Sambanguita, and then we're gonna go. Bangka to Apo Island. Okay, so this time preparatory day lang namin kasi we want avoid the the travel time of the Roro from Iloilo to Bacolod as you can see daming pila it takes for around two to three hours to get in the boat so we're just lucky to get a slot on the fast cat kasi one hour lang yung travel yung problema lang syempre yung unloading na naman ng vehicle so dun kami nag stop earlier so yan syempre with our extra time we will be meeting up with old friends and family Yeah. 
Okay, guys, what's up morning? We're up na. And then, tapos na kami kumain. Ayan. Ayan, girl. Super Ivan. <laughs> so, around 5.17. So, yung target sana namin is 5 o'clock. Pero, syempre, nag-breakfast pa. So, mga 5.17. 30 minutes late sa schedule. So, ayan. So, right now, alis na kami. And then, we're gonna go straight to going to be the mag, uh, the magayate and then some bongi pa. Okay, go! So our 5-hour road trip starts from Bacolod going to Sambuangita, passing Velia Dulid where you can see the Gimmer's Eye. Binalbagan where we can smell the cooking of the sugar canes that includes the city of Kabangkalan and then the scenic mountain views of Mabina. Finally, we arrived to Bae City and another one hour of driving and taking the scenic view of the coastal area of Negros Oriental. Okay guys, so next stop kami dito kasi Cebu! Cebu. What's up? <laughs> so, pupunta din kami dyan after two days. <laughs> Diyos, Diyosero. Pero ngayon, pupunta kami ng Diyosin na to sa may Sibulan, Dumaguete. Okay, let's go! One of my favorite manok ilasal in Iloilo is here in Sibulan, Dumaguete. So it is a must bucket list of our travel to eat in its original place, the Jos Inato by the sea. Then after that, it's going straight to Sambongita and to Malatapay Port, where we will be riding a bangka to Apo Island. So, nandito na kami sa Liberty Lodge, Apo Island. Nakikita niyo nga, ito yung view namin. Ayan. Diba? So, doon daw yung ano, yung mga pawikan. <laughs> okay, and then ito yung room. Siyempre, ko lang bulang. Ayan. Ito may mga electric fan And then ito yung CR Okay So good na siya For a remote island scenario May mga conditions lang kasi One, yung electricity uh, From 6pm to 10pm lang So may limit lang So ngayon is around 2.30 uh, Walang kuryente <laughs> Maghihintay kami 6pm Okay and then, yung price ng room is 2800 for good for two. May kasama ko partner. And then, libre na yung foods, breakfast, dinner, lunch, etc. Pwede kung ilang days kayo. For us, overnight lang. 
Because we're just going to go ahead and dive. So we're going to dive earlier. And then tomorrow, early morning, we're going to go back to Sambonguita on the mainland of Negros Oriental. Because second day, we're going to go to Siki Hor. Hopefully, we can go around and show you the tourist spots or the highlights of the place. If not, then we'll focus on tayo sa diving or your underwater exploration. Okay? Right now, we'll settle in muna kami kasi grabing init. <laughs> and magaan pa ako ng things para ready na mamaya for charging. Okay? Okay. Dive plan namin is to start sa right side ng beachfront, from the stone pillars going to the left, kung saan yung mga sea turtles. One thing that catches my attention immediately is the clarity of the water. Let's go. Ang clear na tubig. This is by far the clearest water I have dove in Negros Oriental. As you can see, there aren't much of corals. It's because the coral gardens are at the scuba dive sites, and those are at the 30 feet below mark. Dito sa front ng beach lang, nasa 12 to 15 feet lang yung lalim. That depends on the tide, kung low tide or high tide. During our dive, it's going to a low tide state. I was expecting na makakita na kami agad ng sea turtles, pero wala pa din. We can sense that the sun is getting low kasi it's around 5 o'clock na ng hapon. And parang nawawala na kami ng pag-asa. Just as it seems na all hope is gone, nakita ko na rin siya. Parang nagka-mix feelings pa ako kasi parang nakabahan ako kasi baka kagatin niya ako. Anyways, enjoy this footage of the sea turtles in Apo Island. Yes, sea turtles. Kasi dalawang sea turtles yung nakita namin. One thing to note about sea turtles is that kailangan mo talagang habulin sila. Magahabulan talaga kayo and it took us about 5 minutes to get good shots ng malaking turtle. So if you are a free diver, this is an advantage for you kasi mahahabol mo yung sea turtle. Isang fun fact na nagdiskubrehan namin is that the juvenile sea turtles are the different thing. When I say juvenile, mga batang sea turtles. Hindi sila masyadong mabilis lumangoy and hindi sila takot sa tao. That's why nakapag-selfie ako sa kanya. And syempre, ekes na yung first bucket list sa lakad namin. Which is, swim with the sea turtle. After the dive, inikot namin yung island to the other side. Gusto ko sanang puntahan yung view deck and then yung lighthouse. Problema lang, wala na kaming time. More specifically, medyo madilim na. We just went to the other side of the island so that I can see kung ano yung makikita mo. Of course, I was still amazed of how clear the water is in that island. Uh, 
Gut, dann haben wir noch. Another thing na maganda dito sa Apoy Island is the sunset. The sunset here is breathtaking. One of the best sunsets I have seen in Negros Oriental. So, it's dinner time and our dinner was delicious. Something apples. Apple. I was expecting fish for the rest of our stay here, pero ang sarap ng menu nila. For me, the price of the room with these meals, it's a win-win for us. Ah, uh, ito po yung ano. Free na food for your ano, accommodation. Sarap. So, our bangka is going to fetch us at around 8 a.m. It's breakfast time and our food is amazing. Okay, guys, what's up? Not only that the food, but the view is amazing as well. Next time na balik namin dito, we are going to spend the whole weekend para magsawa kami sa Apo Island. Hey guys, what's up? So, ayan. Hanggang dito na lang yung first day namin. Siyempre, we're five days going on a road trip all over Negros Oriental and then Cebu. Our first stop is here at Apo Island. Our next stop is Siki Hor. So, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and follow our social media accounts kasi every week, we're gonna go ahead and upload the places that we we're gonna go to in this year in road trip so ayan so first impression and thoughts sa Apo Island ayan ang ganda so there are a couple of things that uh, gusto ko yung discuss sa Apo Island sa trip namin so mainly yung features ng island so um, if you're looking for a beach like Boracay and then you know uh, party and all of that um, you will not find it here in Apo Island. Apo Island is mainly for one, uh, diving, scuba diving, free diving, and then snorkeling. Now, uh, yung punto why pumunta kami dito or gusto kong pumunta dito because of the sea turtle. Uh, diving together with the sea turtle is one of my bucket list and 
this trip never let me down. Kahap po nag-dive kami, siguro around 4.30 to 5.30. Um, that hour is a feeding frenzy hour or feeding hour yan ng mga fish. And we are very lucky to have two sea turtles yesterday. Isang malaking turtle and isang juvenile. When I say juvenile, yung bata pang turtle. So, ayan. So, if you're planning to go here in Apo Island and experience the sea turtles, um, based on my experience, the best time to do it is early in the morning. Okay? Mga ganting oras. 8 to 9, something like that. And then, in the afternoon, starting from 3.30, going down to 5 o'clock. Kasi, during that time, feeding frenzy, nag-feed yung mga fish, and at the same time, yung mga sea turtles dumadaan sa area. So, uh, malaki yung beach side or yung uh, front beach ng Apo Island. Actually, yung daming site dito. Uh, but mostly, 90% of the site is for scuba diving. If you're free diver or snorkeler, dito ka sa harap. Okay? And yung mga sea turtles na nakita namin kahapon is on the right side of the beach. If you are looking on the beach itself, nasa right side sila. Doon sila uh, kumakain or nai-explore. We don't know exactly what they're doing there. Pero dito sa kabila, dito, ayan. Uh, very good na area yan for free divers. Kasi one of the features of Apo Island is the clearest water. Ang clear talaga ng water kahapon. Parang ayoko <laughs> mag-stop ng free diving. Kasi it's very relaxing kapag anong clear yung tubing. Pero, just be careful during that time, around 3 to 5 or going down, medyo malakas na yung current. If you don't want to experience the current, yung malakas na alon, go diving during the morning. 6 a.m. until 9 a.m. ang ganda. Kanina, very calm yung tubig. So, ayan. Those are my tips for you if you're looking for sea turtle sightings. Ayan. Based on experience yan. So, ayan. Based naman sa ano sa uh, accommodation namin, we stayed at the Liberty uh, Resort. Uh, the room is a couple room, good for two, and the charge is two thousand eight hundred. Yung two thousand eight hundred na yan, free na yung breakfast, lunch, dinner, as long as you can stay here. Libre yan, so ayan. Comes with the uh, your own uh, comfort room. Yung problema lang, kasi sa 2,800 na yan, kulambo lang or mosquito net. It's not an air-conditioned room. Fan room lang yung bibigay nila sa inyo. Pero, based on our experience, last night, during the morning, actually, depende naman sa weather, if you're not used to fan rooms, syempre, medyo mainit talaga. And then, one thing to note is that the electricity here is just in limited time. So, 6 p.m., there's an electricity until 10 p.m. during that night. And then the whole day, wala nang electricity. Good thing is that wala namang lamok. Wala lamok. Yung mga bugs lang na pupunta sa, ano, sa lights, ito mo maliit na bugs, yan yung uh, problema dito. Pero hindi naman ganun kadami. Okay? Uh, bearable siya. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, that's all the info that I can give you. I'm gonna go ahead and create another video travel guide to Apo Island this one is just a travel vlog say first time namin dito and the best talaga uh, we're just lucky na nakita namin yung sea turtle and that is the main point na pumunta kami dito para mo witness or makandive kami together with the sea turtle so ayan so hanggang dito na lang yung video kasi magpapakapaka may because we're gonna our second day or two days kami pupunta sa CK or we're gonna explore the area for the first time or so, ayan. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and follow my social media accounts. Until next time, ride safe, travel more, and we'll see you next video, okay? Bye!